look at the wisteria. Hello, welcome to a new video. So today is actually kind of my birthday. <laughs> it's a belated birthday because mine fell on too close to dad's funeral so we've postponed it and it's today. So this morning we had a lovely look around our village. They were organising a jumble trail and uh, Rain's been waiting for a day off to be able to do that for years. So we did that first, we went round that together and met up with her friend and her kids which was really nice and we just kept seeing loads of people from the village that we knew chatting in the middle of the... It was really nice atmosphere everyone's like walking around chatting to everybody so that was really nice that would be mm, I don't know it's a nice bag isn't it I should feel like it <laughs> might be a good work bag so I'm gonna go back in and have a look at okay I'll wait here oh. And uh, now we've come to Lights Carey Manor. You've seen this probably in the vlog a few times because it's our nearest National Trust property. And I, I don't think we've been at this time of year exactly. No, I'm just thinking, I don't, these look so different to how they used yeah. to be when we're here. We normally come, well, we've done Mother's Day here last year. I like their um, obelisks. That's the sort of thing I've been looking for. <laughs> what was I saying before my battery ran out? Uh, yeah, we've been here other times of year, but I don't think we've ever timed it for here. We often time it wrong, actually. If you come around end of May, June-ish, then they've done the Chelsea chop and everything's down to the ground and uh, there's not actually a lot of plants to see. <laughs> we've also done a very sneaky end of summer uh, photo shoot here for Threads of a Fairy Tale, which was fun. So, anyway, I'm rambling on. So it's a busy day, actually. <laughs> This place shuts in half an hour, so we haven't got long to look around. I brought my camera, I want to do some pictures of flowers and just of the house. It's such a pretty house. And we've missed opening times, which we found out was because of light hours. The amount of time they're allowed to have the windows open. I, I just got annoyed with them for not opening, for, for closing too early. But now I know the reason, I'm less annoyed. <laughs> just heard thunder so um yes. <laughs> I said to, um, I was watching Tangled with Dom mm. yesterday or the day before yesterday and um, that bit where she touches her yeah. grass with her feet for the first time yeah I, like, I don't remember the last time I did that <laughs> I know we don't do it enough I like it. You I do a lot grass. actually oh you do <laughs> There were three weeks in America where I couldn't do it. I was like desperate. Oh to really? Stand. I remember there was like a bit of grass alongside the um, Universal Walk where we were walking. I was like, oh my god, finally! And I took I took my shoes off and just walked across the grass. The grass. It was like I I, I was like craving it. Oh. <laughs> it was really strange. And that was when I was still at secondary school because I always walk on the field with my bare feet. <laughs> Listen to the thunder. This is so pretty. I absolutely love this. I've never seen it with this purple flower. Is it some kind of allium? I don't know what it is. Oh, listen to that. It's going to start chucking it down any second. I've always loved this area, but I've never seen it with this purple flower before. Beautiful.
Happy birthday to you. Hello again, same dress next day. <laughs> I'm really squinting badly. I thought, no, I'll try not to wear sunglasses because it's not very polite to talk to you in sunglasses. I do try not to, but I, I just can't see it. If it's at all bright, I just, I'm like squinting so bad because I've got such, I've got pale blue eyes. It doesn't help. It doesn't help in the sunshine, but so nice to have the sunshine and um, a good forecast for the rest of the week as well, which is in incredible and brilliant. So I'm outside with you today because this here is my birthday present, or at least one of them. <laughs> I'll show you what it is and why I asked for it. Be careful of your whiskers. I think he's trying to get as many dandelion seeds on him as he possibly can. <laughs> the garden, by the way, is looking pretty nice. It's all sort of coming out now. Everything's starting to come together. Oh, those are beautiful. I love our quillija. Um, and I love how the the, geranium, the, the early geranium was late this year, so it's come out at the same time as the bluebells, which look lovely. Sadly, the bluebells are almost over. It's actually a little bit later now. I've got to chop down the sycamore that's come up again. And this is where... <laughs> this is what's remaining of my beautiful willow obelisk that I made a few years ago. So I'm going to deal with that now. So I've just cleared away the ivy and see there's that stone bit in the middle. I'm really, really hoping I can get my obelisk legs around the edges of that. Yeah, there is a sort of stone bit then I think a bit of soil and then there's stone around the edge but you can't see it at all I really like how it looks like that it's almost a shame to cover it up with, with the roses because they will completely cover it oh well I'll have to put another one on my wish list next year Well, there we are, I finished tying everything in. Yeah, you can hardly see it now. You can see a bit more from the other side, which is, which is nice. But I am looking forward to all the roses. Flowering, that will be really nice. And I'm looking forward to, well, over the next couple of weeks, give it all this area tidy up. There's quite a lot of bramble the other side as well. And that's everything that came out of that bit. So I need to tidy that up too. I might use the old willow sticks just as basic supports with just a bit of string in the top for some of the roses in this bit here that are just flopping everywhere. So I know a lot of you like a, a garden update, but it's so difficult with the traffic. I keep having to stop and start. So that's why you might see lots of little jump cuts. Um, but what a beautiful, glorious day. So happy. And it was such a nice day yesterday. We did get caught out in the rain. That thunder did lead to quite a big downpour. We had to run back to the car and still got quite wet. But it was really nice yesterday. It was, yeah, it was busy. 
but nice to be busy, you know? Although I did get quite overwhelmed a little bit. A little bit of social anxiety popped its head out while I was down at the jumble sale, jumble trail thing. Just because I bumped into so many people I knew all at once as well. And uh, plus I was trying to meet up with a friend and just like lots of chattering around with the kids and friends and stuff. It, it all got a little bit overwhelming at one point, but I think it was fine. I hope I didn't come across the pro I worry that in those situations I um, I sort of clam up and come across as like aloof and not interested. Uh, yeah, anyway, I guess you just, there's not much I can do to, hopefully people don't think that anyway. Oh, I'll, I'll put in a little clip of what I bought at the jumble sale. It was quite funny. I was told I was quite menacing walking around the village holding this. I said I was a Midsummer Murders episode waiting to happen. Scythe, which I'm hoping, I don't know if you've noticed, but I think since I last showed you, I think right back in the beginning in February, I did show you, didn't I, in a, one of the previous videos, I got a short way up this flower bed with the um, brambles and I have got all the way uh oh I can <laughs> see they're growing back already I can see some here but I have actually got all the way up to here quite thoroughly getting rid of the brambles but that's why I got this sort of handheld scythe because here it's pretty thick and it's growing really thickly into the field so I need to get in the field and I'm hoping given that a sharpen I can just sort of swipe through it and get through it quicker than using the loppers and the secateurs it takes it forever so yeah I'm hoping that that will be a bit of a solution for the brambles and another thing I bought is a necklace holder I just like the look of it and the one I've got at the moment in my dressing room is so complicated lots of lots of little wiry bits and it always gets tangled and I thought that actually this one's a little bit more simple and yeah I like the style so not much art or creativity going on really today in this video but I hope you've enjoyed the catch up nonetheless and I will leave it there I hope you've enjoyed watching and uh, take care I'll see you again soon bye